Welcome to the Norman Cornish Drawing Tutorial with Susie Davis. In this workshop session, we are going to learn how to draw in the style of Norman Cornish. Norman Cornish worked down the pit from the age of 14 and during his time down the pit, he developed a passion for art and painting. He worked down for 33 years. He became a pitman painter and in time, a professional artist. The work that he depicts are scenes based on the mining community life. The bar scene, the pit road, street scenes, uh, working down the mine and also family life. Um, he created his style of art through interesting compositions on the mining community life. Compositions being the arrangements of shapes, putting them together to create a whole picture. Interesting compositions and sketches were drawn very quickly so that he could then develop them into paintings. So as you can see from my examples here, we have a step-by-step -step process. So one of my favourites being the bar scene with the friendly companion greyhound. I am now going to explain how we can achieve this style and look. If you look at the picture, the overall picture, it's almost like a triangular shape. So if we get our piece of paper, as in the example here, and draw from the bottom to the top into almost like a triangle, we have the shape in which we're going to place the rest of our shapes to create this composition of two men at the bar with the greyhound. If we look at the very simple shapes, as in the picture, we can draw them and build it up. So for the head, starting from the top, from the head, we've got squashed oval shapes and we've also got a shape for the hat. If we move further down, we can create that um, almost triangle sort of jacket shape. Um, now we're at the top, going, getting wider towards the bottom. Again, the person at the bar, we see talking to him. Again, if you use the same shapes, squashed oval shape with the flat cap on top, and again, look at the shape and we know again, narrow at the top and wider at the bottom. These are just basic shapes to help us so that we can then develop them with sketchy outlines and, and shading. The legs, again, if you look at the legs, they come down and around. So just sketch them in to show the shape. And again, the other leg, Likewise, the young man with his legs crossed over, we can use that as a guideline. It doesn't matter if we make mistakes because we can work over it with different drawing tools. This effect I am creating is from pencil, graphite and felt tip, tools that Norman Cornish would have used to create his sketches before his paintings, the pen being the floor master pen that he used a lot of. So getting in the basic shapes, if we move down to where the dog is, we can see it's an oval shape on the side. Again, put in the basic shapes, which we will then work into with line once we have created the basic composition. When you're happy with your shapes being placed, we can then work into it. So we've got place the shapes, sketch it to develop the composition, composition more than two shapes to make the whole picture, barman and his dog. Okay, if we move on to the next stage, we are now going to develop those basic shapes to make it look a bit more real and a bit more 3D. Using a graphite stick, I'm going to now work into the basic shapes to create that look and add detail. Think of it as a tool where you just push it around your paper, work into your lines, pushing it into the paper. A good way to do this is to try not to leave it. So you're basically creating your shapes and moving your pencil around as you do it. Graphite stick being a little bit thicker than a pencil, you can press on hard to create your dark areas and you can press on lighter so it fades out. We are sketching with this tool, we're being very loose with this tool, but we're working into those shapes to make it dark and light. So we are developing the visual form, the shape, with the use 
of sketchy outlines. And by doing this, we create a sense of movement and freedom. Press on hard where you want to develop the darker tones. So push your graphite stick around or your pencil. You can use any dry material you want for this technique. You don't necessarily have to leave the paper. You just scribble it in, pushing it around, working into the shapes to make them real. This can be done with any subject matter and any scene of Norman Cornish. This is the way he quickly jotted down ideas to then develop in his studio space and use contrasting dark and light and colour tone. As you can see, I'm just pushing my pencil around, using it very loosely. And by doing this, you get that lovely shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of this technique, because by scribbling over and over, even if you make mistakes, you can get, you can disguise them and cover them up. You create this sense of spirit, feeling, and movement and shape that Norman Cornish successfully depicted in his community scenes. If we move over to where the greyhound is, you see I place an oval shape. For the, the biggest oval shape was for his body, then a little bit for the head. We can connect these shapes again by working into what is already there and then we can connect these with use of line. We have the ears, we have the bit of eye, and we move the pencil around, so move it around. Okay, I'm feeling quite happy with what I've got down so far. Um, we could um, put a bit of shading in, contrast of light and dark, just working back into areas. Just to give it a bit more feel, with it being at the bar, we can add our detail of our paint glasses. Yeah, so this is how Norman Cornish would sketch to create the sense of movement and the spirit of the mining community life. You would also use blocks of colour to create a sense of um, feeling, whether it was down the pit where it was really warm and hard work or in the bars where it was warm and cosy or the street scenes would be quite cool colours uh, reflecting time of day and um, the temperature and atmosphere. So you can see here from basic shapes taken from the image, thinking about your overall shape, narrow at the top, wide at the bottom, Look at the basic shapes, sketch them in, and then work into those basic shapes with dark and light, pushing your drawing tool around the lines and creating depth and 3D effect with your shading. If you want to add a little bit more dark into it, we can always go to the pen, the felt tip pen, which um, Norman Cornish describes as a Flowmaster pen. And we can exaggerate some of those dark areas and bits of line. Sometimes less is more, but I do feel if you just put a little bit of dark into it, hints of dark, again, you give it a bit of a lift and a, maybe a bit more 3D and depth. If we just put some detail in like the ears, 
again it's just very sketchy so just broken up line to develop that shape to give it that sense of movement remember the barmen are chilling out at the end of a hard shift with their faithful companion the greer hound so these are happy times down the pit happy happy times down the bar chilling out chilling out okay this effect from outline developing it with a graphite stick and a bit of dark with the flow master pen felt tip as we call it today materials you can change your range of materials to create different effects feel free to add color with chalks and work over it um, and you'll end up with a norman cornish style of artwork thanks for joining me in this workshop session i hope to do more in the future